Hey guys, it's Gawain, and today we're going to be taking a look at perhaps the best operator with fire in their kit, Goyo. Goyo is a two-speed, two-armor defense operator that specializes in area denial, plant denial, and fragging. Goyo has a powerful primary gadget, great secondary gadgets, and a laser beam of a primary weapon. Good Goyo players are masters of positioning and timing, when to use their gadgets and when to swing the enemy. Let's learn how to play him. Goyo is equipped with his Hot Box, of which he gets four. These are deployable firebombs that you can stick to flat floors and walls. When deployed, Goyo will pull a flap up to reveal a bright red compartment underneath the metal. If anyone, defenders or attackers, shoots this bright red bit, then the fire canister will detonate, causing the box to explode and spill a pool of fire on the floor for 20 seconds. And that's literally all there is to how this gadget works, onto the next segment. I am joking, of course, placing this gadget in spots where you as the defenders can control when and where it goes off is the intricate part. The best spots to place your canisters are near main breaches, above or around default plant spots, and main entrances to site. You need to ask yourself when placing down these canisters, can the attackers shoot this before I want them to? If the answer is yes, then you need to find a better spot to place your hotbox. Don't be afraid of basic placements like on walls next to doorways or breaches because they are simple yet effective. As for common plant spots, it's not as detrimental if the attackers can shoot the canister once they open the wall or decide to go and plant because they have to choose between detonating the canister then and wasting 20 seconds of their time or risk planting under it so they could maybe use it for a post plant. This is where your positioning as Goyo is key. Make sure you can see and detonate the most important canisters on plant spots so if a defender even dares to start planting you'll burn them alive, at least damaging them, hopefully killing them. Just check if you can shoot the person coming in or planting first because ideally you want to save all of your canisters for the last 20 seconds so that the attackers can't enter sight or plant in a comfortable position, winning you the round. That being said, don't be afraid to pop canisters if you're being heavily pushed to delay said push and hopefully trap someone in the fire in the process. I find that the key to Goyo's gadget usage is timing and learning that will only come with practice. My advice is to learn or make some canister setups for each site and make mental notes of which canister you will use for what situation. For example, on Oregon Basement, I like to put a canister at the end of Elbow near Blue Double Door so that when attackers swing me I can shoot the canister and prevent that push whilst I reinforce off the rotate hole. I'll then have another canister over in Freezer that can be shot from Laundry Rotate due to a sightline made by a teammate, one canister over by default plant behind A Bomb, and my final canister will go where I think they will push from predominantly or just to cover laundry. To summarize, you get four hot boxes to prevent pushes and plants and you can detonate them by using an explosive or shooting the exposed red part of the canister. If you shoot any of the metal then the canister will not explode. Positioning, placement and timing are the three main aspects of using this gadget and you will learn and develop these more as you play Goyo. Goyo's primary weapon options are the Vector .45 ACP submachine gun and the TCSG-12 shotgun. His secondary weapon is the P229 handgun with no other option available. I personally use and recommend the Vector for my primary weapon and the P229 for the secondary of course. The Vector is a laser beam of an SMG with an insanely fast fire rate of 1200 rounds per minute. Whilst it is a bit of a pea shooter, with the relatively low recoil, access to a 1.5 time scope, and a crazy fire rate, you'll be hitting headshots more often than not anyway. Just make sure to keep your crosshair placed at standing head level when moving around the map to get some lucky one shots. You can use the extended barrel on this thing to make it less of a pea shooter, or use a flash hider like me if you struggle with recoil control, I also use the vertical grip. As for the TCSG-12, it's a slug shotgun so it acts as a DMR with high soft destruction. It's got great damage and a decent semi-automatic fire rate with relatively low recoil and access to every scope up to the two times. It can also be useful for sight setup, making sight lines and rotate holes for you to shoot your fire traps through, just don't set them off when making your sight lines. I much prefer the Vector personally, solely because it's a fragging machine, but I do often find myself wishing Goyo's kit has a different soft destruction option, so it's personal preference really. As for the P229, it's your average pistol that should only really be used for a backup weapon if you run out of ammo. In terms of secondary gadgets, Goyo gets access to one nitro cell or two proximity alarms. 
I always choose the Nitro Cell, aka C4, because it gives you another chance to deny a diffuser plant or get a kill on someone trying to play above site. You can use it with your hotboxes too, so when you kill the person planting, your fire will spill across the plant spot when the C4 explosion triggers your trap, wasting 20 seconds of your enemy's time as well. As for proximity alarms, they can be useful to alert you to the enemy's position if they push down the path you put them on, so you can detonate one of your traps to delay their push. Furthermore, you can put your proximity alarms on the red bit of your fire canisters so the enemies have a choice. Shoot the proximity alarm and detonate the fire trap, or keep it alive and have their position revealed until they move past it. I got this one from Coconut Bra. I choose the C4 because it just straight up kills the enemy trying to plant, but you can do some creative things with proximity alarms if you choose to run them. To start off the prep phase, I place down my hotboxes wherever I see fit. This means placing them in aforementioned positions such as on default plant spots, main entrances to site and other places that the enemy will get trapped in or their time delayed. You can also place a firebox in front of a drone hole by main breach to stop drones coming in through it and add a bit of plant denial like on chalet basement. After that I reinforce a couple of walls because it doesn't take the entirety of prep phase to set down my gadgets. I then hop on the outside cams ready to call where the enemies spawn in the action phase. To kick off the action phase, I call where the enemies have spawned to my team and hold an angle in sight that looks towards that side of the map. I cycle through cams a bit to call for my teammates, but always keep coming off of them to see if I can pick up any frags myself. Don't be afraid to enter gunfights as your team are able to shoot your canisters too, and the more skilled your teammates are, the more likely they will know when a good time to shoot a hotbox is. If you feel like you need to, get off site and flank the enemy to hopefully get a pick or two before rotating back to site. Use your C4 if you hear the diffuser going down, or shoot one of your canisters if you think it's too early to fully commit to a plant denial. When the enemies start a site execute, shoot one or two of your canisters to hopefully delay that push even further, or damage the enemies whilst they run through, making it easier for you to get the final few kills. Goyo's counters are the ones that detonate his canisters earlier than you, the Goyo player, would like. These counters are Twitch, Zero, Fuse, and Explosives. Twitch and Zero both have lasers on their gadgets to detonate your traps earlier than you would like. To counter this, you need to shoot their cameras before they can shoot your traps. Other than that, not much you can do. Fuse can go above sight and rain his cluster grenades down from the ceiling and detonate pretty much all of your traps within 30 seconds if he positions his charges in the general vicinity of your traps. To counter this, shoot the cluster charges when you can and use your C4 to outright kill the Fuse player above you. Explosives are pretty similar to Fuse, except every other Kabumi gadget will only detonate one or two of your traps preemptively, rather than all of them. You won't be able to counter these without killing the operators that possesses the explosives, really. Place one or two of your hotboxes so that when they explode, the fire will cover the area of a default plant spot to make the defenders scared to plant and waste more of their time. Use the vector for a fragging machine. This gun's fire rate paired with the 1.5x scope can be absolutely insane in the right hands. Don't be afraid to pop a fire canister earlier than you would ideally like to prevent a push as that will delay the enemy and waste any time or resources that they have invested into it before you detonated the canister. Use the nitro cell you have access to so you can be the ultimate plant denial king. Be flexible in your positioning. I usually play Goyo as an anchor so I can control when my gadgets get detonated, but don't be afraid to run off site or roam if your team requires it because you have the firepower to pick up impact frags as well as deny plant. Overall, Goyo is a middle of the road operator to play in terms of difficulty in my opinion. His gadget is simple to use, but the positioning and timing of it can be very tricky to learn, and these are the aspects of Goyo that make him fundamentally a good operator. Learn where to position your hotboxes, when to detonate them, how to control the vector's recoil, and you are sure to become a pretty decent Goyo player. Thank you all for watching, I do hope you enjoyed. If you found this guide helpful in any way, shape or form, please do consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends as it does help grow the channel, which is very much appreciated. As always, all the clips you saw in the video were taken from my Twitch stream, link will be on screen and in the description. Flores is next for the Siege series, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye. That was ace I got. Oh my god, oh my look god. at that! <laughs>
<laughs> what the friggity? I think we just found the Goyo end clip. 